I'm here today to announce I'm running for Congress from the 15th Congressional District of Ohio. And I'm running because I think we need to change Washington. In Washington, there's too much partisan bickering and there's not enough work getting done. We need people that can come together and get results that people care about. I have 22 years experience in the Ohio Army National Guard, and that background gives me credibility on the number one issue that people care about. The number one issue people care about right now is security. And to me, security includes the war, it includes terrorism, and it includes defending our borders from illegal immigration. I also have experience as a business advocate and experience in the State Senate working for jobs and economic development. And I believe that supports the number two issue that people care about right now, and that's jobs and the economy. Another piece of, piece of that issue is uh, taxes and spending. I think those are the key issues that we're going to talk about over the next year. Those are the key issues where we're going to explore the differences and I think you'll find, and the voters of the 15th District will find, I represent them on all those issues, and I will represent them well in Washington. I think I'm one of a handful of people in this country that have had the experience to both have a legislative background and lead soldiers in a combat zone. I think that's a unique perspective that we need in Washington. I'm excited to be running for Congress, and I'm happy to answer any questions anybody has. Thanks, John. And that's a great rumor around town that the president called me. Um, I did not receive any calls from the White House, but I received calls from houses all throughout the 15th Congressional <laughs> District. And uh, the, uh, uh, there are people who have been talking to me since August about this race, since Congresswoman Price announced that she was going to retire. And um, a lot of things have happened since then. Um, one of the big things that we all know happened is Congressman Paul Gilmore died, but not just that, Congressman Regula announced he's also retiring, and Congressman Hobson announced that he's also retiring. All of those people were people that would work across the aisles with Republicans and Democrats alike to bring people together for solutions to this country. And I've watched over the last eight weeks in Congress while they've bickered about the state children's health insurance program, instead of providing health care for kids and working together to find a solution, they've, people have bickered back and forth. And I've watched over the last 60 days while people have bickered back and forth about the war and what to do about the war and about how the war started. And let me be clear about the war. We need to look at what makes sense for America going forward. The past is the past. It's been analyzed by lots of people, and I can't add anything as an expert analyst to what's happened in the past, but I can add something to what we do going forward because I bring the perspective of somebody who's worn boots on the ground, and I know how to bring people together, and I think we can do that. So, and you add to that, the other thing that's happened in the last 60 days is, you know, the Democrats have introduced a $3.5 trillion tax increase. That's nine zeros if anybody can't count that far, but that's a huge tax increase on the American people. And um, that's not what we need if we're going to focus on jobs and the economy. Um, I, and about my decision, I uh, take my commitments pretty seriously. So when people first came to me in August, uh, I thought about my commitment to the Ohio Senate, and I focused on that. But I didn't, <coughs> hadn't actually had a chance to talk to Karen. And I take my commitments very seriously. When I uh, signed up for the National Guard that I've been in for 23 years, I didn't do that on one day's notice or one hour's notice. When I agreed and asked Karen to marry me, <laughs> <laughs> when I asked Karen to marry me, I, I didn't do that without thinking about it either. And, and I'm sure she's thinking about it right now. <laughs> but uh, I. Uh, so I take my commitment seriously, and I, I needed a little time to, to process a pretty major life decision about making a change and going to Washington. But I believe that our country needs me to do this, and uh, I believe I'm the best person to serve as the congressman from the 15th district. You know, I've been smacked in the face before, and uh, I didn't like it, but uh, I think the voters deserve a real choice in this race. And, um, you know, I don't think that comparing people's records 
is necessarily negative campaigning, but I think making stuff personal is negative campaigning. And last year, you know, that race got really personal, and um, I really hope that we can rise above this year and talk about the issues and talk about what people care about and focus on trying to deal with the issues that the American public and the people of the 15th District want us to deal with. Well, I think that'll depend on how strong a candidate I am, and um, we'll see as time goes on. Uh, I think commitments that people make when they're recruiting you into a race uh, aren't really worth the paper they're written on because that's what people say to get you in a race. But I know that I'm a strong candidate in this race, and I know that I can raise the money to win this race. In fact, uh, when I talked to uh, Joe yesterday, I raised zero dollars, and I was uh, obviously a little behind. Um, but. Uh, I was on the phone for about 20 minutes this morning. I've raised about $60,000 from a bunch of people, lots of short phone calls where people tell me they're going to max out to me. And uh, like I said to Joe, check back with me in about three weeks and we'll see where I am then. But um, I'm going to work hard and raise a lot of money in this race. It's going to take a lot of money to get my message out because um, t campaigns are expensive. And uh, I know that going in. I uh, have agreed and disagreed with President Bush um, on social issues and on the war in Iraq. Um, there are, um, so I don't think it's probably fair to call me a strong supporter of everything he's done, um, but I, there are things I support and there are things that uh, we differ on. And you know, if you get any two people and they don't differ on something, what's the old rule in business? You don't need one of them. So. Um, <laughs> Hopefully, you know, folks can learn from me and I can learn from them. Lots of great friends in the room. Thank you all for coming, and I really appreciate it. I'm looking forward to this race, and I'm looking forward to serving you in Congress. Thanks.